All right, guys, I'm Gesno. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we are back with more Tio Tioko, Tokyo Revenger. Today, we're on episode four titled The Return. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe we're going to be returning to the present. It's been a while since we've been in the present, so that's a possibility. Last episode was great for fleshing out the characters. Like I said in the last video, each episode, I'm loving these characters more and more. And like just seeing them happy, seeing them succeed, it's like, I'm just like, yes, 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 more of this. Um, last episode we learned more about uh, Kenny and especially more about Mickey and like we got to see a very like respectable side to them so it's like, it makes us wonder like how did this end up happening in the future how did they how did especially Mickey uh, end up being so corrupt and how did the Tokyo um, Manji gang end up being so just vile and disgusting uh, and then there was also I, uh, there's a chance that it could be because of the guy that he meets um, later on the second um the second leader of the tokyo manji gang in the present we saw a little glimpse of him he was he passed takamichi for a second there and we got to see his face and he looked like absolutely disturbed um but yeah i'm excited to see him hopefully we get some interaction with them takamichi was also great in that last episode and so was hinata they both were like really really good and brave uh even though they were scared they were ready to fight like whoever to protect each other i thought that was very sweet uh, I'm excited for this episode. I'm not going to waste any more time. Before I get to the episode, though, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys end up enjoying this video, then you can like the video, comment, subscribe. All those things really help me out. Uh, and yeah, let's not waste any more time and get into the video. <laughs> They're loud. That's right. They're like, oh my god, fucking teenagers. Hinata doesn't give a shit. But you're making that old lady stand. Make Yikes. her some room. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. sure. You're cute. Ma oh, God. <laughs> wow. Aww. Hina's amazing. They're really just twisting that knife, so when we see her die, like, that's gonna be horrible. Oh, is the guy with the glasses that creep that we saw at the end of the, of the, of the last episode? The second leader of the Tokyo Maji gang. Oh, you know, I haven't thought about finals in forever. How do you mean? <laughs> we just finished with them. Oh, yeah, of course we did. Shit, I was thinking out loud again. Well, You're always sure thinking out loud. You're gonna you get caught. A dream, right? I'm going to help you with your studying. The finals are over. <laughs> Why are we studying more? Oh my god, relax. <laughs> uh, I've just never been inside a girl's room before. Oh, stop gawking already. Yeah, okay. You could be a bit less obvious. Sorry to interrupt. And Door so left open three inches. Oh, don't worry about me. <laughs> She's cool. trying to act all cool. Her mom just comes in and ruins it. That's enough, mom. Out now. Thank you. Uh, I swear, if we see a sad old version of her, I'm going to lose it. Thanks for looking out for my brother. Hmm? He told me that you saved him from some bullies the other night. Oh, yeah. My dad's not around much. He's so busy, he rarely has time to come home. Naoto and dad don't really get along very well. But lately, Naoto has what? started saying he wants what to happened? like him. Our dad is a policeman. Ah, so that's why Naoto oh, became a police officer. Shut up! <laughs> well, he isn't one yet, because he's just a kid. <laughs> yeah, because you're time-traveling, Takamichi. Honestly, so bad at this. Well, for one thing, you seem nicer somehow these days, and maybe more mature. I wonder how he actually was when he was I a kid. I feel like I'm talking to someone much older than I am. Oh yikes! Uh, I'd love to know more, to know everything about you. Oh boy. Let's go up to the roof and watch. Wow, this is awesome. I thought for a second like something serious happened on this day or something. I don't want to go back to the future. You have to. In the future, Hina is gone. <clears throat> Hina. Hmm. Is that? Um. Oh, oh hi. no. Hmm? He's gonna get sent back to the present. The handshake is the trigger. <laughs> you no! messed it up. You oh, messed it up. Oh, you were up here. Yeah. You've got to be <laughs> Oh, that's so... <laughs> it's like getting woken up from like a really good dream. Well, anyway, at least now we know my hypothesis was correct. Yeah. yeah. Hooray for you, I guess. 
Oh my god, I just remembered that somebody tried to push Takamichi into in front of a train. That's a whole another thing. Yeah, well I shook my hand by mistake? This is not a joke! <laughs> your second trip into the past while while you were back in the past, your body here would have been held in suspended animation. Okay. So what happens to you in the past? I'm not dead exactly. We'll make sure you're here in my room. So it's like a video game. Your mission went to keep but what happens to you in the past? Like what? What happens? Do you pass out in the past too? Because that wouldn't make much sense. Mikey's a boss, but he's actually a really good guy. What? Why I'm the hell didn't you kill him? Huh? Jesus kill him? Christ! This is the because then he'd wake up in a jail cell guy? if he did that. Has he turned you, new friend Mikey. He's now so deep into crime that the police can't even touch him anymore. Yikes. If I only could, I'd kill him with my own two hands. Let's go talk to Mikey. To uh, I want to talk to him in person, in the present. He There's might no remember you. Doing that. He I might. think you're wrong. I think we can trust him. And I need your help. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because that way he knows what to look for in the past. <sighs> You know, know what to you there, but you've changed, Takamichi. Huh? That's interesting. You really think so? Like he's how? changed in the past, and he's even Your changed in the future. Seems to be gone. Am I finally cool now? Right. So let's God. figure out how to meet. This <laughs> Don't stop. Are you saying I'm super awesome now? G gang has been going nuts. That's what I'm Mikey's saying. Like extremely careful. He leaves no clues. They start off with good intentions, but then this ends up happening. Burn. Atsushi Sendo, part of Toman's upper echelon. Akun. Akun. Are you serious? As in your friend, Akun? Mm. Has that always been the case, or did the time travel do something? He was arrested for stabbing Kiyomizu Masataka from Toman. His release, he was nothing more than some no-name punk. He said that was his plan, but he didn't, so... Yeah, the but then he eventually did. Akun didn't follow through on stabbing Kiyomasa, so he was never arrested for it. The fact oh. that you and Mikey... Be to then become part of Tomon's upper echelon. Oh, so he was gonna stab him, get arrested, and just be a nobody. But now he's like... I should warn you, my place is a disaster. Yeah, somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> What's that spell? Just hang on a sec, let me... Oh my god, oh no. I thought that was on my screen for a second. I have a Cartoon system. Roach. I'm going to break out in hives from all this dust. Oh, he actually I'm is. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> and some gloves. <laughs> and a cross. Oh my god. Ugh. Ah, found it. <laughs> Don't stop cleaning. Was that a PlayStation controller? Talk about taking a trip down memory lane. Now it's kind of got like a, a, a dad gut right for a little bit. Found it. See ya. <clears throat> Damn. I was actually thinking like, where are these guys now in the present? After we've become adults. You dumbass. Nothing is gonna change. Huh? We're still gonna be in middle school. Life. Hmm. Hostess bar here. Are you sure it's okay? Must Crime does pay. Look Sendo at that. One of the higher ups at Tomon now. And I can guarantee that none of that will matter because Akun's still Akun. It, we don't know what's happened. We might be walking into a trap here. <laughs> that also could be a... It takes case. more than something like that to change a friend. It's a bit suspicious for you to be just like, Hey, I want to speak to Mikey. Come, gentlemen, who do you like? Huh? <laughs> um, I don't know. Who do you okay. like? I... He's totally mocking me, isn't he? Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I miss Naoto, I'll be honest. It's, just, it's been a while. Akun is still Akun. Yeah. You're kind of like freaking me out a little Takanichi. bit. Oh. Behind you, genius. You Holy haven't changed shit. a bit, Takamichi. He looks like an adult. No, I probably should have said something to you earlier. You but cut off the hair! Off. You kept the color, though. I like that. It's Akun. He may look totally different, but it's definitely Akun. I've been waiting all this time for you to show up, Takamichi. You have? What do you mean? Let's go talk outside. I know you've been time traveling. Just the two of us. I swear, if he says all that. Right? Hey, there's nothing to worry about. You keep saying that, making me more worried. He turns around, he has a knife. It's the same knife. Fine ladies, you're basically on a different planet than me. Yeah, well, money can't buy you everything. 
She. Hope I can say something like she. that today. So that guy you came here with is a cop, right? Uh, um, I, uh... <clears throat> Say he's he not the sister. Oh, actually, that might not work. <laughs> that actually might make it worse. Tachibana's younger brother, isn't he? There you go. He already knows. She even had a brother. The person who pushed you onto the tracks was me. Huh? Are you fucking kidding? Should have killed you. But someone saved your life. He knew you were gonna fall into the tracks. Even before it happened. I feel fucking sick. This is the last guy that I thought was gonna do that. You can time travel, can't you? <sighs> Didn't you ask Naoto Tachibana from the past to help you? That's it, right? It's the only explanation that makes sense. There's no way he saves you without knowing that that was gonna go down. But that's insane, Bro. right? I mean, isn't it? Ah! What the hell are you talking about? What I don't the even recognize you, fuck? Man. You were always so cool, calm, and collected. I can't believe you would ever have tried to kill me. You're my friend. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Why did he? Did he do it because he, feel, he blames him for everything that happened? Mikey was just never the same after Draken died. Huh? Draken is dead now. But he bit it just the same. Oh my God! No. Thriving off of dirty money. I always looked up to you. You'd cry, but still hold your ground. Oh, God. I don't think this is gonna end well. Save everyone if you can. Akun. Oh, I'll cry, baby. Hero. No, don't do it, Akun. Ah! Ah! You gotta save him too now. Holy shit! Yeah, um... Oh, is this bastard over here? Wait, did he hear everything? He heard about the time travel too, but I mean, there's nothing really he can do. Please, don't push yourself. You we got like a bunch yourself. of answers that I wasn't expecting in this episode. I need you to find out about the day Ken Ryuguji... I thought it was gonna be, uh... Huh? Takuya, or... Uh, Takuya? Yeah. And apparently Mickey's been missing for ages. Wow, this is a complete flip from last episode. Last episode felt a lot more like uplifting. This episode felt like it's like just more of a drive to save everybody. Like I don't know, it's hard to explain it, but it's like when we got to the present and we were talking, uh, talking to um, Akun. Like I don't, it's like it just felt like the present, like compared to the past it just felt so like dark and like just i mean obviously it was dark he jumped and like committed suicide like that that's incredibly dark but it just feels like it feels like it's not the real future it feels like it's like some nega future or something that's like just wrong and just like not how it's supposed to be it's like an episode where you go into the future and it's like it's like in one of those it's like an episode of a show where somebody from the future comes to the past messes it up messes it messes it it's like in a tv show when somebody from the future comes to the past like somebody evil and purposely messes it up and then goes to the and then goes back to the future to the, to the present and it's completely messed up and it's completely like dark and it's like everybody's at their lowest and it's not how it's supposed to be that's what i got from this episode like it's just like this 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 present is wrong it's not how it's supposed to be which technically that's true it's not how it's supposed to be it's there's supposed to be a difference i mean we're like far from the original timeline uh even this so even if we get it right that's technically the wrong present but you know oh god the biggest reveal the biggest reveal was that we found out who pushed takamichi and it was fucking akun and he was the last person that i thought actually did it i honestly thought it was gonna be takuya i thought it was gonna be him uh because i don't know he just gave off that sort of energy but it's actually the most capable one of the group the, the most the, the leader you know so that's absolutely ridiculous and they mentioned in in the original timeline that he, he turned out to be a nobody he stabbed 
um, he stabbed uh, Kiyomasa because he was trying to protect Takamichi and he ended up in jail. And then after that, he was set free and he became like a, a just a nobody, a, a random thug. So I can I can see his thought process, I guess, when he sees Tak Takamichi and he's like, you're the reason why he's going to say you're the reason that I went to jail. So I'm going to kill you, too. So I can understand that in the present timeline. And I guess I can understand that in this timeline, too, because he feels trapped and he saw Takamichi. And he was like, you put me in this situation. So he, he went to kill him. But still, like I felt sick when he said that. Like I was like, "Damn!" And I talked about, and I talked about in like an episode two how much I love that group. And then like just this this series is dark. This series is like he committed suicide. He did it. And he was like, "Did he do that knowing that Takamichi? I mean, yeah, I guess he did. He knew that Takamichi could save him. So then why?" Kill yourself, and why not give information to Takamichi that could help him save you guys? Like, ah, it's so frustrating and shocking and everything. But I guess it's to like hammer down the fact that this present is wrong, and it all leads back to that to that glasses bastard. Um, he's the one that ended up uh, changing uh, Mickey and, or Mikey and. Um, now we haven't even heard from him apparently in ages so who knows what's happened to him uh he's just like right now like the face but not even the face because he can't even show his face but like i guess like the reason why that glasses guy is acting like mikey is still in charge is because it helps keep the peace maybe i don't know we gotta find out what's going on but yeah it all goes back to him so we gotta stop him from interacting with mikey and uh, like the way that Mikey makes friends, like he, it looks like he'll pick up anybody uh, around the corner. So I can, oh my God. Wow, what an episode. Uh, really just once again, hammers home the mission. Uh, we gotta save Hinata. Now apparently we gotta also save um, Kenny and also we gotta save uh, Akun. Well, that's basically, uh, that's basically it. Another great episode. Tell me what you guys thought about it in, in the comment section down below. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time for the next episode. Until then, bye.